Welcome to MongoDB tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what is journaling in MongoDB. So if you talk about the journal in, in, in simple English, it means uh, a file which contains uh, all the information of a transaction. The same stands true for the MongoDB journaling file as well. So it is a file which contains the binary transaction log, uh, which can be used to bring the database up and running in case there is a catastrophic failure. So what happens in a MongoDB database uh, whenever there is a transaction happening, the, uh, the transaction is first returned to the journal file and then it is uh, saved to the database files. If we talk about which version it was uh, enabled by default, so by default from 2.0 onwards it has been enabled. So as of now it is 4.4 or 4.41 I believe. So, so if we talk about uh, uh, where they are located, so journal files are by default located into DB path and uh, they, they are pre-located. They are pre-allocated. So this is the flow of the data, uh, data which is being returned to journal and the data files. Whenever there is an application which is interfacing the MongoD, uh, first of all, it will be intercepted by MongoD, then MongoD uh, will uh, accept those transactions and those transactions are first returned to journal file and then it is returned to the data files. That all because of the, uh, of the transactions uh, which are first returned to the journal and then to the data files. If you talk about the journaling and uh, the storage engine, so Wired Tiger is the default uh, uh, storage engine from uh, or from 3.2 onwards. So whenever uh, uh, there is a checkpointing um, happening, uh, it provides a consistent view of the database on the disk. So let's say there is a transaction, there is a transaction happening and the checkpoint happened at the same time, then what this checkpoint will do, this will flush all the data from the, the journal to the, to the, uh, uh, to the uh, data files. What if uh, the checkpoint has not happened, then all the transactions which are recorded in the journal and during the recovery process, first of all, the, the data file will be checked what is the last uh, checkpointing ID and, uh, and uh, what are the uh, transactions have happened after that. So those transactions are recorded in the journal file and then during the restoration, automatic restoration or recovery of the uh, data file transaction, then it picks up the information from the journal file. It will check uh, the, uh, the old uh, last checkpoint and the new, new one which is supposed to happen, then that applies to the journal file and uh, then it will be, uh, uh, then uh, it applies the journal file since the last uh, checkpoint. A journaling pro process, how does it happen? So by default, the Wired Tiger creates one journal record for each uh, client uh, initiated write operation. So, so there will be a one file which will be, be used for a client initiated write operation. Then Wired Tiger, it syncs the buffer journal records to the disk. Uh, in any of uh, uh, two kind of, uh, of scenario. So every 10 seconds or 100 milliseconds, it creates a new journal file or, uh, or when the, the, the uh, size has should short like 100 MB is crossed, then it is going to create a new, a new journal file. So what is the location of the journal file? The location of the journal file is uh, DB path journal wired tiger log dot the the sequence number it I think it is uh, starting from uh, nine times zero and then it starts one um, what is the content of the journal um, records say um, a record per client is initiated when there is a write operation happening so a, a single journal record will be created and it will have all the uh, the update operations like what all data has got changed in the database and what it is supposed to do and along with that if there is an indexing already available then it it uh, it maintains the information about that and each record has a unique identifier 
and uh, the minimum size of the general record file is uh, 128 bytes and by default it uses the the compression uh, algorithm which is uh, uh, snappy com uh, uh, compression for compressing the uh, journaling data so this slide talks about the journal file uh, 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 size limits so a single journal file cannot go beyond 100 mb once it is uh, reached then it creates a new one and uh, wire tiger automatically removes the uh, old journal files uh, if it has already returned to the to the data file due to the checkpoint which has already happened then it is going to remove that so if you wanted to check the complete status of your database you just go from the mongo command uh, shall you just um, uh, initiate db dot server status the wired tiger storage engine does not require journaling to guarantee a consistent state after a after a crash that we have to uh, just make uh, a note of the database will be restored to the last consistent uh, checkpoint during recovery this is uh, database by def uh, design and uh, and uh, then it is going to apply the journal logs which have uh, those informations recorded uh, since the last checkpoint if MongoDB exits uh, unexpectedly in between checkpoints, then journaling is required to recover write uh, that occurred after the, the checkpoint. And now let's proceed with the demo. It's a very small demo. Uh, so uh, this is my Mongo shell. Let me exit out of this slide and show and we have two things only one is uh, finding the status of the journal file and uh, another is uh, so if you say simply i'm on mongo shell just say mongo and i'm logged in db dot server status you can see the complete status of your uh, mongod so it has all the informations recorded all the checkpoint and other informations over here so we are not going to discuss uh, anything about this but what we are going to do is uh, we'll go to uh, c drive uh, we'll go to c drive then uh, uh, then program files program files then uh, bongo d server minus 4.4 and uh, then we have something called as data in data as we discussed like journal files by default will be stored in this and uh, this is the default storage engine from 3.2 onwards which is a wired tiger and if it is enterprise server so it will be in memory uh, in memory storage engine so you can see uh, that um, these are the logs which has been created so far all of them i believe it is it has reached up to uh, 100 mb so anything um, uh, uh, which has reached to under 100 mb a new file will be allocated so you can see there are i think uh, eight zeros i believe uh, one two three four five six or i think uh, ten nine or ten zeros then uh, the sequence starts with one two three four and nine so you you are not supposed to uh, make any changes to this uh, uh, mongodb will automatically uh, manage these files so whenever uh, 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 this information or the checkpoint has happened then this uh, the information uh, which is already available in journal file there will be returned to the uh, data files and there will be a consistent view so this way it works i hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching